another edition of Personal Best. It's the Ebor from York. A host of Melbourne Cup nominees running here. They include Rodrigo Diaz, Get Shirty and Enemy. The favourite was Garcia with next pick, Earl of Tyrone. Due to our commentator, Richard Hiles. And the two to go forward to complete the line, Trollerman. And that's the colour change ever present. Some publications have different colours for Rodrigo Diaz. Uh, white and green, white with green, cross of Lorraine and Arnett's for Rodrigo Diaz. So, runners are all set just about then for this Sky Bet Ebor. £500,000 right across the Knavesmire. And the runners are dispatched from the score. So, way we head, Rodrigo Diaz grabs hold. Frankie is moving forward on Trollerman, as is the other Godolphin runner, Global Storm. So, blue to the fore early on. Earl of Tyrone taking a handy position with Fancy Man, and they're being tracked through by Max Vega. The grey horse is Alfred Butcher, just behind the leaders in company early on with John Leeper, who's a little bit closer than is sometimes the case. Licence settles down in midfield. Frankie is staying right over on the far side, a common tactic to avoid his horse eyeballing others and give him a chance to see how much energy he has to expend to cross in front of the field. They will get to a left-hand kink, as you heard, after about three furlongs or so, so Frankie probably won't stay out there a great deal longer but uh, out in front it is a trawlerman on the inside of the field races global storm third place over on the far side that includes earl of tyrone max baker and fancy man as frankie will now just begin to edge across has the overall lead without a doubt john leeper settles in sixth place just ahead of uh, at this stage uh, earl of tyrone who's just on the inside running rail as they make the turn just behind these is Shanro racing in about her seventh place and now Frankie joins the field proper and dropping anchor moves over to the lead in a more conventional manner on the fence. So early on it's Trollerman who leads in company with Global Storm. Earl of Tyrone is off the running rail in third, Max Vega in fourth, Shanro on the inside of Fancy Man, John Leeper in seventh as they get a sit. The colour change is on the red cap of Ever Present on the inside of Alfred Butcher at this stage in company with Licence. Reading further back, Shalier and Valley Forge, Valley Forge white and green, just ahead of this stage of license in that uh, pink cap. On the inside is Garcia, two thirds of the way back through the field with Raymond Tusk, Candlefoot's in that little cluster, two thirds of the way back through the field as well in company with Akuta Sushi. And right towards the back, you can Glenn in company with Rodrigo Diaz as they make the turn. Enemy is another who's towards the tail. So they're on the cusp of the home bend and out in the lead. Frankie de Torres bossed it on Trollerman with Earl of Tyrone moving into second. Global Storm will straighten in third. Fancy Man Stripe Jacket will corner in fourth, then Max Vega as they make the turn. John Leeper is in sixth place, same owner as ever present Red Cap, then the grey Alfred Butcher behind these with Valley Forge as Global Storm has a difference of opinion. William Buick staying over to the far side as they make their way up the home straight. Amongst the other runners, Candleford trying to improve. You can Glenn just trying to pick a passage that was blocked. Benno is still towards the back as well. So now the dash for the Ebor begins. Still Global Storm and Trawlerman with Earl of Tyrone on the front wave of three. John Leeper in fourth place. Alfred Butcher the grey must or trying to between the Godolphin runners. Behind those over on the far side is Shalia, ever present. Candleford comes next. You can Glenn is picking a passage through runners, but still has work to do. The grey Alfred Butcher looking for a second win of the week with Trollerman on the near side, Earl of Tyrone. Behind these, John Lee for Shalia, but it's Alfred Butcher who has the lead. Trollerman is fighting back on the run to the line. Alfred Butcher, Trollerman won't lie down. They hit the line together. Very close indeed. Trollerman fighting all the way to the line with Alfred Butcher. Earl of Tyrone was third ever present. Shalia involved with John Leeper for the placings. This is very close indeed because the heads were going different ways. Trollerman was then front there. Wow, that is really, really close, isn't it? Alfred Butcher and Trollerman who had that unconventional route down the back straight. Let's sort out the places for you. Earl of Tyrone is third. It's pretty close for fourth. Going to go to John Leeper. Shalia. I was nowhere. 
Okay, I thought, well, we might get second again and then underline. Oh, 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 we might not there. It was an amazing race. Trawler Man gets the nod, and what a ride from aging celebrity jockey Frankie Dutturi. He took the long road early, but there was a method in his madness. Check the odds and pick a winner. And physical well being of older people. And the money. Go Brandon, I agree.